Alright, welcome to another Megiddo Gaming video. Uh, just doing an update on mod 13. Uh, turns out that uh, the preview should be starting tomorrow for PC. So, uh, I of course don't even own a PC. So, I will be giving updates based off of uh, what I hear uh, from other people that are doing the preview. And actually, just a quick disclaimer. Any time that I'm reporting on something, it's not... Everybody has their sources. So I'm not going to claim that I'm not watching other people's content or reading other people's content uh, for my information because it all has to come from somewhere. And um, most of the time I just do these videos to kind of share my input or thoughts or speculations. I'll never try and be that kind of hype person. I'm not going to be like, oh, well, it's going to be this. Uh, you know, I'm not, especially if it's like two or three months out, it's like, oh, we haven't heard anything and this is what I think's going on. Um, not to the extent of saying as far as this is the content that it's going to be. So I'm not going to be that hype person, but I'm also going to let you know that if, if I watch like Cali Gold stream or keeping tabs on the ARC forums or uh, reading uh, NWO un uh, unblocked, uh, that inf the information that I'm sharing with you is already out there. I'm just relaying it through my channel and with my own thoughts on it. Uh, so don't know if that disclaimer was needed, but I just wanted to let you know that for the most part, I just want to share with you in case you don't watch those kind of things. And also, if I can tell you about them and where I get my sources and things like that, maybe you'll go and watch Cali Gold or Galactic Underwear or, you know, spend time yourself in the forums and read up on this stuff. But that aside, uh, so, so far what we found out um, is kind of a dissection of what was posted on Dragon Plus is uh, the tyrant, the uh, larger T-Rex, the undead T-Rex that uh, creates an undead ads for you. Uh, that's going to be pretty much exactly like King of Spines. So it is going to be a heroic encounter uh, like I talked about on my last video. Uh, it's also going to be the lead um, hunt also. So just like King of the Sp King of Spines, you could do the hunt and get the Rex Amiculum and Rex Corona and everything. Uh, so is the Tyrant. So there's not. It, 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 I mean, it's honestly a copy and paste of what we have. So we we're gonna have more hunts. We're gonna have the Apex hunt with the Tyrant, and um, we're gonna have our quests uh, along with um, uh, the new dungeon. So, essentially, it, it, this is just the second part of the Tomb of Annihilation, finishing the storyline, but it's kind of a copy and paste of what, what we've already got. So, we have an uh, upgraded King of Spines, we have an upgraded Rosny, and um, so nothing too different. Now, there are a few things that was talked about uh, that are going to be changing um, it's a very vague uh, thing that they talked about where the powers are going to be changed. Now, uh, that could possibly just mean that, you know, we're going to have, of course, uh, more boon choices that are going to affect, you know, maybe damage dealt uh, to undead dinosaurs or something. Who knows? Um, of course, I'll keep you posted if I find anything else out. It could also lead into uh, the updates uh, for the Scourge Warlock. I know that they were needing a rework. I don't believe, and unfortunately as a trickster rogue, I hate to say this, I don't believe, and this is my own personal guess, that we will see an update uh, come mod 13. It doesn't mean that there won't be some bug fixes or patches along the way, but a full rework, I, I don't see that uh, coming 
before or when mod 13 is released. It'll probably be, if anything, uh, mod 13B. Uh, the public outcry in the forums and everything done by myself and other TRs, uh, if anything, will help uh, push that forward to be as close as 13B. Uh, if it doesn't come out before mod 14 or on mod 14, uh, I could really see the TR community uh, being really up in arms about it unless some significant patches come out uh, between now and then. But very exciting uh, for the preview server uh, to be going live uh, tomorrow. Uh, that's the nice thing about being a console player is that we get to see things as they progress through the preview and even further progress uh, after its release date to PC. It gives us a head start. We kind of get an idea of what we need to prepare for uh, as far as balancing our characters, saving up currencies and things like that. So uh, we may have to wait, but... It, it, it gives us uh, more of an advantage not having some kind of baptism by fire. Um, um, sorry, I'm sure you don't want to be looking at the Neverwinter title screen this whole time while I'm talking, so I'm going to attempt to play something uh, while we're talking here. Now, other than that, uh, there are not too many details released yet. I'm sure there'll be maybe one, two more trailers uh, that'll show us more because it, it was bits and pieces and it what it was showing it, front and center was the tyrant and there really wasn't much going on when it came to the um, dungeon itself. Uh, but it, if you do follow the tabletop game at all, Definitely, it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's probably going to be about six levels, maybe three main rooms, uh, one for each boss. So one for Svardborg, one for uh, Demogorgon, and then one, of course, for Atropal. Um, a lot of people are saying that y you could be fading uh, Aserac, uh put up against him. Um, I don't think that will be the case. Uh, my speculation is it's going to be kind of like Ma Malabog's castle, where, you know, Valendra was there, you know, kind of controlling the situation, but you never really fought her. Like, she contributed a little bit to the battle, but you yourself didn't really do anything. Um, because, um, as far as canon goes, uh, um, the Archlich, he, he's more of like kind of a chaotic evil puppeteer. He kind of just wants to watch the world burn kind of thing. And um, just wants to set traps in these tombs that he overtakes. And uh, he, he collects all these artifacts and rings and stuff. Purposely just to kill off adventurers. Uh, he doesn't... He doesn't want to become a god himself he would much rather create gods to do his bidding and um kind of wants to be the guy behind the scenes he wants to be the wizard behind the curtain and you know what? uh that that's kind of nice um aside from like how the tabletop canon goes it, it, it just like the game we play now it's going to allow us to have more and more storylines because Valendra has gone through all of this with us uh, whether it be you know Valendra's castle or Malabog's castle or anything like that you she, she's always there somewhere and then we could even see something of where they team up because I don't believe that the end of this that we're actually going to be uh, defeating um, the Lich. So we'll have to see what happens there. And I'm sure, especially with the preview being released tomorrow, there's going to be a lot of people running around out there that's uh, going to get in there and already beat it rather quickly so that way we can uh, get a taste of what's to come. But as far as new items go, of course, if we've got new hunts, we're going to have uh, 
new items that we can pick up. So as far as grinding right now, I don't know how the hunts will work. Um, it could be that they may even make it more difficult where you have to take lures that you're getting now, like the trophies you're getting now, and combine them with trophies you get from the new hunts to get all the way up to the tyrant. So we'll have to see how they play out. Other than that, I know I was going to do Wizard Wind Days, um, but I had some time and we had the update on uh, NWO on blog, on blog, so I wanted to... Wait a minute, we didn't have to wake up the palace guards? What's going on here? Whatever. Not going to question it. Um, this is probably like my fourth time playing this skirmish, and, and I didn't even do any research on it prior to playing it. But it seems like it changes a little bit each time. Like depending on like what barricades that you're putting up. Like see that barricade over there isn't even there. So we're going to have to go up this rock pile where I'm facing now to go do it. Come on guys, kill these things off. Get them out of here. Don't worry about them too much. Grab this stuff. Let's go. Let's see, build barricades one of three. Come on people. I'm a squishy little trickster rogue. They can come at me if they want. Nice thing is, is I'm not drawing their aggro, so I can go ahead and take care of this for them. Oh, and another thing, too. Um, I know I'd been away for a while, so I wasn't paying attention to any of my notifications or messages or anything, so I tried to reply to all of them that I had. Uh, so thank you for trying to communicate with me. I apologize that I wasn't there to... Um, uh, respond but I've responded to anything that was on there and I want to thank you all uh, I didn't realize that I was almost to a hundred subscribers so definitely I, I appreciate that thank you very much um, I think it's at a hundred subscribers that I actually get to uh, have my um, oh am I stuck please don't let me be stuck okay cool uh, what barricade do we have to put up I thought we did them all okay there we go and so yeah, I definitely want to thank you all because now if that is the case where it could be, you know, youtube.com slash Gaming, it's going to um, make other people finding this channel and things a lot easier. And um, I, I, I definitely like sharing content for you. Like I said, there's going to be more content. I'm not going to just do Neverwinter. And... Um, because I really want to... I, I, I don't always play Neverwinter. So I want to share with you other things that I do in other games or other aspects of my life. So um, definitely stay tuned for additional content that's not always Neverwinter related. I also noticed while looking through um, what people viewed on my channel that the most viewed things are build videos. I might have to branch out and do other classes aside from Trickster Rogue because uh, until a rework or depending on what comes out in mod uh, 13 there's really not much you can do with the Trickster Rogue at this point and I mean the Whisper Knife is still lackluster I am interested in uh, uh, testing out PvP now that Tenacity is gone so um, we'll have to see like what build I'll come up with that. But really, it's Master Infiltrator Executioner anymore. I mean, there's Sabo builds out there that are really good. But all in all, I mean, I guess you could say with PvP, PvE, Sabo, and Executioner, really only three builds. I mean, everybody's got their own taste on how they run it and uh, how it's comfortable for them to do it. But our class isn't very dynamic and I don't know I'll who just barely got gold pants again that's the th third pair of pants but I did get a, a little like raptor type mount uh, last night so that was cool uh, it's good that we get totems in here I don't know if there's a cap daily on that yet maximum forgot of totems 20,000 okay cool um, 
uh, now I'll just share this uh, for people that don't know. Oh, I got two viewers. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm actually kind of just recording this for my YouTube channel, but I'll, I'll say hello. Um, under the campaign section, and I'm sure other people know this, but I just want to make sure I share it in case other people don't, is um, when you go into the uh, Social Star Adventures here, uh, you actually get a Merchant Prince's key as, along with your Cholton key. And it costs totems to do that. So it's good that while running this, we're actually getting totems. But I don't need three pairs of pants. Okay? Technically, I, I'm not a big fan of the undergarments in this. Um, so I got one, two, three pairs of pants. Don't need them. At least give me a shirt. Maybe I'll try them out see how they work but no just wanted to give you all an update on uh, mod 13 and uh, just let you know that I'm gonna continue to update it as things come along and definitely stay tuned for more content uh, on my YouTube channel I'll try and twitch stream more often on my days off but it might not always be Neverwinter I've been playing a lot of Skyforge lately um, also, I uh, kind of want to get into Fallout 4. Uh, kind of start it from the beginning. You know, I uh, got all of the packs and everything uh, downloaded, and I'm just gonna follow it and see how it goes. You know, it, it's a nice it, uh, Fallout's always been a nice, relaxing game for me. Um, Never winter is too, unless I get into PvP and I go into rage mode. <laughs> Uh, but I'll actually probably put up some PvP Neverwinter content too. Now that Tenacity's gone, I'm gonna see how that plays out. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, definitely stay tuned for more content, and I'll put out another video if more information comes out on Mod 13, even if it comes out later today. So thanks, and have a good one.